wellness. Reach out to them for advice at 855-DON-GINO. And now back to your hosts, Don Getling and Gino Franti. Okay, as we always say every week, this is the saddest 10 minutes of our week. Because our best two hours of our week is sharing it with you every Thursday, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. right here on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. The Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show, guiding you to personal and financial wellness. It's our goal. We love doing it. It's our passion. That's why we've been doing it now for three and a half years. We thank you for listening, being part of our show, part of our community, and sharing it with your friends. Please tell others. Check it out. We have fun here. We share some great information, and uh, we're glad you're with us. Yeah, in fact, the best way to get a hold of that information, Don, for three years now. So we've got compiled three years of clips, three years of the best part of the show. I prefer our YouTube channel. It's probably the best place to get that information. So go to donandgino.com. Hit the YouTube logo in the upper right-hand corner, and that'll take you to what I call the little, uh, it's not only our spool, but it's our historical library of tips. So just type something in the search engine on, on YouTube once you're on our channel, and it'll find whatever topic you're looking for, uh, whether it be distress, like we used to talk about a lot, or success <laughs> that we've been talking about more recently. Yes. Okay, so we, we're, we're down to the, the wire here, and we ha I want to dive into some great conversations because we have Bob Keller, city, uh, city councilman right here from uh, SEV, and he's going to give us some updates of what's going on. He's a good friend of ours, an advocate of our city, very passionate about um, your city and mine, and we're stoked to have you here, Bob, and we will bring you back on a regular basis because your tips are information i know i'm glad to hear about and need to know more about and thank you for being here and sharing what's going on here in santa Clarita because you're in the in, you're in the inside we're getting insider information i'm not going to arrest it for this am i i don't think <laughs> so. okay okay so notice the disclaimer in that i don't <laughs> think I don't so he didn't say no no that's, <laughs> there, there's a politician yeah. i'm not going to totally <laughs> trust me when it comes to sticking your neck out i've had mine out there a lot farther yes, you than have. you have to worry about a and you know what i i have to s applaud you on that because you do you you wear your heart on your sleeve and you 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 stand behind your convictions and that's what i i i love about you you aren't about uh, the politics of it. You're about really being an advocate of our city and you have passion, uh, beh passion behind what you believe in and I, I applaud you at that and that's why you're on our show. Thank you for that. And, uh, and thank you. Uh, I do pay attention to all you do for our community. Uh, shoot, every single community event I'm at, you're at. And I, I miss a few, but I try to make not too I many. Can. Well, yeah, yeah, you have to sleep once in a while. <laughs> Besides running a real estate company at Keller Davis Real Estate, check them out. Uh, let's talk about a couple more items before we close out our show today. Uh, briefly, it's been around forever, but let's get an update on CMEX. Absolutely, uh, and thank you for asking. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, myself along with Mike Murphy and our mayor, Lorene West, uh, and city manager, Ken Striplin, we were all in Washington, D.C. exactly two weeks ago as Ooh. we speak right now. Uh, on the CMAX matter. And once again, uh, walking the hallways, if you will, talking to various legislators, uh, congressional members, and uh, visited a couple of Senate offices, uh, certainly Senator Barbara Boxer's office, uh, along with uh, a, a host of other people. Uh, and it, I think probably more importantly, uh, with us, we're vice presidents of CMAX. And it's important for our citizens to know that today, and it has been that way for about the last five or six years, the city of Santa Clarita and CMAX are hand in hand in trying to get this issue resolved. And that is that there will not be mining by CMEX over in the eastern reaches of our community. And uh, right now we're waiting for what is called a scoring. And it basically is a, an evaluation of monies. Uh, and we're hoping that that number, uh, when it does come through, will be a number that we will be able to work around, work with in conjunction with CMEX. And it'll be signed off in that area. will never be a mine again. Uh, so, what, I, so that's that a lot mean? of progress from last year when we spoke. We, we're seeing a lot more daylight right now, but right now we're, we're, that scoring that I indicated to you, and that is created by the Congressional Budget Office, not to get into too much detail, but uh, we'll see what that number is. And we're just hoping and keeping our fingers crossed it's going to be a number that we can all live with. And uh, both the city and CMEX have been committed to doing and making adjustments if, we, if we're close enough. And this will, this will be a win. And when, we, when this battle is won, now by golly, this is one we've got to come together and celebrate, ladies and gentlemen, because this is, this is huge it, for Santa Clarita and the entire Santa Clarita Valley. It's very huge. And, and, we, and 
Uh, we can dedicate a whole show to how uh, uh, important it is to our community. And we, I've seen so many uh, articles and ads and um, uh, radio shows. And everything's geared around that for so many years. But So when can we have you back on to share that number? You know, I am going to be optimistic and uh, tell you that I think that we would be prepared in a month. All right. Uh-huh. So mark our words. We'll have Bob Keller, city councilman, back on the air to share that number uh, regarding CMEX and what potential progress that that holds for all of us here in Santa Clarita. You bet. I'd be honored. All right. So during the break, we were talking about a little another hot button. <laughs> uh, you know, you I wish I could hold one right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, you know, I feel like I've been uh, attacked about this. I actually do feel attacked about it. You, you know, you go shopping and and there's people attacking you and sign this petition and sign this form and let's talk about it and. And I'm like, I'm just shopping. I don't want to have anything to do with this. But I guess it's a really hot topic. And you heard about it as well, Don. Yeah. And uh, all of you have heard about this. One way or another, there's no way you can hide from it. And so, Bob, you can give us some clarity of what's going on with this whole billboard battle. Okay. I, I'm going to give you the Bob Keller position on it, okay, and okay. what I believe to be the case. That's what we're asking for. Um, first of all, I want to let our listeners know that over the years, and I'm serious about this, I'm going way back into the early 2000s, so certainly as long as I've been on the city council. So it's not every day, but certainly many times I've heard people complaining about the billboards that we have throughout our city. But yet they don't, they don't exist in Valencia. Why not? There's some kind of favorite child over there, or what's the story, <laughs> you know? Truth of the matter is, Valencia was master planned by New Hall Land and Farm, and they master planned it. There's not going to be billboards here, and that's to New Hall Land and Farm credit, okay? But over in the canyon country, certainly portions of Saugus and New Hall, uh, you can tell, and particularly along the metro right-of-way, metro, ladies and gentlemen, where the railroad tracks are, right. along Soledad and Railroad. Um, there's a lot of them because metro has leased out space on their right-of-ways for billboard companies to come in and establish billboards. These were all established prior to cityhood. That means they've been there longer than uh, 26 years. because We've been a, a city now for 26 years. Um, they're on a month-to-month basis. And I, it's important because I hear people say, well, wait a minute, you're putting these billboard companies out of business. Well, c- come on, they don't own that land. They lease that land to have those billboards. They might own the billboard, but they don't own the land. Right. Metro has been wanting to get rid of them. We have been wanting to get rid of them. But Metro also wants the revenue. Of course. So the city, in, uh, in negotiations with Metro, had worked out a deal where, all right, we'll get rid of all the billboards on the right-of-ways, which is uh, 62 structures equating out to 116 actual billboard faces. That's a lot of billboards, ladies wow, and gentlemen. Yeah, it is. In exchange, on city-owned property that parallels the 14 and the 5 freeway, of which we have various parcels, but there would be two structures on the 14 and it would be a double-sided structure so we're looking at two faces two billboard faces on each structure and then one on the five freeway up back to magic mountain there will be one there so there will be two more faces there so that's six faces will go up on the freeways 116 will come down i in like the city. that trade that's not a bad number yeah the other good part is, and by the way, this thing, if it does go forward, will uh, p- take about f- three to four years to complete, okay? But also the city, because it's on our land, we will be in receipt of annual payments. And they're estimated to be between four to 600000 a year that will go into wow. our general fund and help us bring in more good things and, and benefits to the community. You know, and I'm assuming that was also helped by modern technology. The new billboards, I'm assuming, are going to be electronic. They could change the ads as much as they want. Yes, it's important to know because people say, oh, well, we don't want Vegas style billboards. They're not Vegas style. You know, Vegas style has got all the moving pictures and things of this yeah. kind. They're digital static billboards. They'll change the message probably every eight to ten seconds, but it's just lettering. And there's nothing flashy, there's nothing that's going to interfere. They're much very similar to the ones that you presently see that are up there by Caltrans. All right. Great information from Bob Keller, your city councilman right here on the Donna Gina Real Estate and Finance Show. Also owner of a great real estate company, Keller Davis Real Estate. Thank you for sharing, as always, great information with us, Bob. Really appreciate your time. Appreciate it very much. Look forward to coming back. All right. Plan on it. We'll get you back on a regular basis to give us our uh, city updates. 
And we want to thank you for joining us every Thursday, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. on the Donna Gino Real Estate and Finance Show right here on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHS. Thank you, Shannon Fosna, for producing the show, and AP Production, Mr. Furman, and, uh, of course, my co-host, Gino. Hey, happy 4th of July. All right, go to APR, APR GI. <laughs>